Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So we have this problem here. Uh, monitor two consecutive uh, packets going through a router. Classify each one as video V if it was sent from a YouTube server or as ordinary data D otherwise. So your observation is a sequence of two letters either V or D. For example, two packets corresponds to VV. If the first packet is a video, second is a video, then we denote it as VV. Uh, the two packets are independent and probability that any of them is a video packet is 0 0.8. So the two packets are independent, right? And the probability that any one of them is a video packet is 0 0.8 denote the identity of packet i by c i if packet i is a video packet then c i is equal to v otherwise it should be a data packet and then c i is equal to d count the number n v of video packets in the two packets you have observed determine whether the following pairs of events are independent part a uh, event that n v is equal to 2 and event that n v is greater than or equal to 1 part b uh, nv a greater than or equal to 1 and uh, c1 is equal to v that is the packet number 1 is a video packet right uh, part c c2 is equal to v that is packet number 2 is a video packet and c1 is equal to d that is packet number 1 is a data packet part d c2 is equal to v that is the second packet is a video packet and nv is e1 so uh, Let's start with the solution. So first of all, uh, let's uh, write down the sample space of this experiment. So sample space S is, uh, there are actually two packets. So we have four possibilities, two raised to the power two. So either we have both the packets are data the first packet is data, second is a video, or the first is a video, second is a data, uh, the both packets are video packets, right? So this is the sample space of our experiment. And uh, it is given that the two packets are independent and the probability of a video packet, the packet is a video packet is a 0 0.8. But, uh, the packet can be either video or data. So it means that probability of video plus probability of data should be equal to one. So that means 0 0.8 plus probability of data is one and that the probability of data packet is 0 0.2, right? So, uh, now um, we can also calculate the individual probabilities because uh, uh, pro individual probabilities of individual outcomes uh, uh, as the uh, packets are independent so therefore probability of this outcome data data is 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 right so this is uh, 0 0.4 right 0 0.04 so rather right and uh, then uh, the probability of data and video is 0 0.2 multiplied by uh, 0 0.8 right the probability of video packet is 8 so that is 0 0.16 then probability that the first packet is a video and second is a data 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.2 is again 0 0.16 and the probability th that the both packets are video right vv is 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.8 that is 0 0.64 so this is the probability space of our experiment and uh, if you note down and if you sum them together 
the sum should be 1. So 0 0.64 plus uh, 0 0.16 plus uh, 0 0.16 again and uh, plus uh, 0 0.04 that is equal to 1, right? So the probability space is 1, right? Uh, the total probability. Uh, the sum of all the probabilities uh, of uh, all the outcomes should be one, right? So uh, now that we have determined the, and note that these are not equiprobable outcomes. Uh, the each outcome has a different uh, probability, and uh, uh, and that. Uh, the probability, let's write it down, the probability of individual outcomes is the probability of D, D is 1, right? Uh, a total outcome, total probability, the sum is 1 plus probability V, D plus probability V, V is equal to 1, right? And uh, the second uh, event that we are considering here is N, V, right? So N, V is, uh, uh, is the number of video packets count the number of NV and count the number of NV of video packets. So with number of video packets in two packets can be 0, 1 or 2. So this is uh, uh, NV. So let's now uh, consider the events here. NV is equal to 2 uh, uh, and uh, NV is greater than or equal to 1. So let's consider part A first. part A, which says that NV is equal to this event and NV is greater than or equal to 1. So we need to find out whether the events are e independent or not. So we know that two events A and B are independent if uh, probability of A intersection B, which we also denote as probability A B, is equal to the probability of A multiplied by probability of event B. So we will uh, use, uh, find out the probability of intersection of the two events and then we'll check whether the product of the probabilities is, is the same as this one and this will dis, uh, help us decide if the events are independent or not. So in this case, uh, we say NV is equal to 2. So event NV is equal to 2 means the number of video packets is 2. So from the sample space we see that this is only one outcome here, uh, this one. So this corresponds to the event VV, right? And uh, uh, probability of this event NV is equal to, is that is probability of VV we found out this probability to be equal to 0 0.64, 0 0.64, right? And the second event, I'm denoting this event by, you know, an event by E, right? And uh, that NV is greater than or equal to 1. So the number of video packets is 1 R2, right? So from the sample space again, uh, we have this event DV, then VD, where the number of video packets is 1, and then VV, where the number of video packets is 2. So except this outcome DD, we have these three outcomes, which correspond to this event, NV is greater than or equal to 1. So this is event DV, with outcome DV, and uh, the outcome VD, and the outcome VV right and the probability of this event nv greater than or equal to 1 
is equal to the sum of the individual probabilities here probability of dv plus probability of vd plus probability of vv so probability of nv greater than or equal to 1 this event so probability was dv was found out to be 0 0.16 here right 0 0.16 right then probability of vd is also 0 0.16 and probability of VV is 0 0.64 so probability of NV greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 0 0.16 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.64 and that is equal to 24 over 25 or in other words this is 0 0.96 so the probability that number of video packets is 1 or uh, greater than 1 that is 2 is very high and it is equal to 0 0.96 right and uh, uh, let's now find out the intersection of event uh, NV is equal to 2 and event NV greater than or equal to 1. So this intersection NV is equal to 2 is only this single outcome VV and V greater than or equal to 1 is uh, uh, this uh, uh, consists of these three outcomes right. So their intersection is basically uh, again uh, this event outcome VV which is again event nv is equal to 2 so this is equal to vv and this is equal to event nv is equal to 2 so this uh, uh, nv is equal to is a subset of this set so there is intersection results in the same set nv is equal to 2 right so in other words the probability of intersection of these two events nv is equal to 2 and nv greater than or equal to 1 their probability is equal to the probability of event vv and we found out that this is equal to 0 0.64 here so let's call this our equation number 1 right and now we find out the product of their probability, uh, product of their probabilities. So probability of NV is equal to 2, right, multiplied by probability that NV is greater than or equal to 1. That is equal to, so probability of, of NV is equal to 2 was found out to be 0 0.64, multiplied by the probability NV is greater than or equal to 1 was found out to be 0 0.96 and that should be equal to 0 0.96 multiplied by 0 0.64 and that is equal to 0 0.6144 0 0.6144 and that is our equation number 2 so if we uh, compare our two equations 1 and 2 comparing 1 and 2 we see that uh, the probability of the intersection is not equal to the product of the probabilities right so we see that probability that nv is equal to 2 and nv greater than or equal to 1 is not equal to the product of individual properties probability that nv is equal to 2 is equal to sorry is equal to 2 here right is equal to 2 multiplied by probability that uh, nv is greater than or equal to 1 so, so therefore uh, event nv 
is equal to to an event that n v is greater than or equal to one are not independent, right? So these two events are not independent. So that was our part A. So part B is uh, and V is greater than or equal to one and V is greater than or equal to one and C one is equal to V. The packet number one is a video packet is V, right? So are these two events are independent or not? So let's find out again the same way uh, that uh, the two events A and B are independent if and only if the probability of intersection of the two event is equal to the product of the probability of the probabilities of the two events, right? So we find out the probabilities of the individual uh, uh, events, and then uh, we find out the uh, uh, product and the intersection prob probability of the intersection, and then compare. So, event uh, uh, n v is equal to one was already found out to be here, right? So, uh, event n v greater than or equal to one was found out to be this event d v v d v v, and the probability was found out to be n v greater than or equal to one was found out to be. Uh, 0.96 right so uh, now uh, probability uh, the event that the first packet is a video packet so event c1 is equal to v c1 is equal to v right so from the sample space again we have uh, two outcomes where the first packet is a video packet right this vd and vv vd and vv vd and vv so the probability of c1 is equal to v is equal to probability of vd plus probability of vv and uh, we can substitute the values again probability of vd is 0 0.16 and probability of vv is 0 0.64 so probability c1 is equal to v that is first video packet first packet is a video packet is found out to be 0 0.16 plus 0 0.64 that is uh, 0 0.80 this is 0. 80 right so we have found out the probabilities of the individual events right we have found out the probability of nv greater than or equal to 1 and we have found out the probability of c1 is equal to v so let's find out the product of the probabilities so probability of uh, nv greater than or equal to 1 multiplied by probability C1 is equal to V is given by 0 0.96 multiplied by 0 0.80 and that is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.96 and this is equal to 0 0.768 0 0.768 so that is probability of n v greater than or equal to 1 multiplied by probability of c1 is equal to v is equal to 0 0.768 so let's call this our equation number 3 right so now uh, we can uh, uh, find out the intersection of the two events and then find out the probability and then compare it with this one here this equation number three here so intersection of the events 
n v greater than or equal to 1 intersection with event c1 is equal to v right so this is uh, um, n v greater than or equal to 1 and this is event c1 is equal to v so we see that the intersection is uh, this event c1 is equal to v so c1 is equal to v is a subset of this event right so uh, we see the intersection is vd comma vv these two outcomes are here also so this is the intersection and this is basically is the event e c1 is equal to v right so this uh, event is a subset of this event and v is greater than or equal to 1 so the intersection results in this subset so the probability of the intersection probability that nv uh, is greater than or equal to 1 intersected with the event c1 is equal to v the probability of this intersection is basically equal to the probability of c1 is equal to v because this is a subset of this and the intersection is equal to this and probability of c1 is equal to v have already found out is equal to 0 0.80 so this is our equation number four right so comparing three and four we see that these two equations are not the same so comparing three and four we see that probability that nv greater than or equal to 1 and intersection c1 is equal to v is uh, not equal to the product of their individual probabilities so probability that nv greater than or equal to 1 multiplied by probability c1 is equal to v so so the events are not independent so nv greater than or equal to 1 n v greater than or equal to 1 and c1 is equal to v are not independent right so uh, this was part b now let's see part c so part C is to see whether C2 is equal to V and C1 is equal to D. Whether these events are independent or not. So you see these are these two packets. C1 is first packet is data and C2 is second first pack uh, second packet is uh, video. Uh, first packet is uh, data or the second packet is uh, video. Uh, these are two packets and it has been described that the two packets are independent right uh, the two packets are independent right so these should be independent so let's us, let us just uh, find out whether these are independent as really independent or not so let's investigate it right so the event c2 is equal to v and c1 is equal to d so let's find out the event c2 is equal to v c2 is equal to v so from the sample space so this is the second video packet here this is second video packet here so it is this event dv and uh, vv right dv and vv and the probability of this event c2 is equal to v is equal to probability of dv plus probability of vv and uh, probability of uh, second packet being video probability of dv was found out to be 0 0.16 plus probability of uh, vv which is 0 0.64 and this is equal to uh, 0 0.80 right so this is uh, our this event first event and this second event the second event is uh, 
uh, sorry event the second event is uh, uh, c1 is equal to this first packet event event c1 is equal to d this first packet is a data packet so from the sample space we see that we have uh, again two outcomes dd and dv dd and dv where the first packet is a data packet right so the probability of this event c1 is equal to d is equal to the probability of dd plus probability of dv so probability of c1 is equal to d probability of dd so probability of dd is 0 0.04 we found out at the beginning and the probability of uh, dv dv was found out to be 0 0.16 0 0.16 so the probability is 0 0.20 right so let's now find out the product of the probabilities so probability of uh, uh, probability of c2 is equal to v c2 is equal to v multiplied by probability that c1 is equal to d is equal to 0 0.80 which we found out here 0 0.80 multiplied by probability of c1d which is 0 0.20 so probability of c2 is equal to v multiplied by probability of c1 is equal to d is equal to 0 0.16 so let's call this equation number 5 so let's now find out the intersection of the events uh, so event c2 is equal to v intersection with event c1 is equal to v. these are the two events that we are considering right so uh, we have uh, this event here c2 is equal to v which is dv comma vv and we have uh, this event uh, c1 is equal to d which is dd comma dv so the intersection of the both the events if you see is this outcome dv dv is here and dv is here too right so this is event dv so it means that the probability of the intersection of the event c2 is equal to v and c1 is equal to d is equal to probability of this event dv which we found out to be equal to uh, at the beginning which we found out to be equal to 0 0.16 so this is our equation number 6 so comparing 5 and 6 5 and 6 we conclude that the probability of the intersection of the two events c2 is equal to v and c1 is equal to d is equal to the product of the individual probabilities this is 0 0.16 this is 0 0.16 so probability c2 is equal to v multiplied by probability c1 is equal to d so uh, uh, the events uh, c2 is equal to v and event c1 is equal to d are independent the two events are independent So now to the part C, part D sorry, this was part C, now to the part D. So part D, in part D we are asked, this C2 is equal to V and NV is E1. C2 is equal to V and the event that NV is E1. So uh, C2 is equal to V, we have already uh, determined the event and its probability here, right? So let me just rewrite uh, 
event c2 is equal to v is uh, this event dv uh, outcomes dv and vv dv and vv sorry this so the probability of this event c2 is equal to v was found out to be c2 is probability of c2 is equal to was found out to be 0 0.80 right now uh, we need to find out the event nv is e1 so that is basically equal, equal to 0 or 2 right and where it could be 0 1 or 2 so um, so it could be 0 or 2 number of video packets is all is either 0 or 2 and uh, 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 and and the and the outcomes corresponding to this is uh, actually these are the out uh, these are not the outcomes right so this uh, is the, the number of uh, video packets in the uh, in the event that we are considering so the corresponding uh, outcomes are dd with the number of pack number of packets is, uh, is uh, uh, zero the video packets is zero and or bv where the number of video packets is two so basically uh, uh, we should write here dd and that is dd and vv this is the event right so this is the event that corresponds to uh, this description right and the probability of this event probability that uh, nv is even is equal to probability of dd plus probability of vv so probability of dd was found out to be 0 0.04 0 0.04 and the probability of uh, vv was found out to be 0 0.64 so that is uh, 0. 0.68 right so we can now find out the product of the individual probabilities right so uh, probability of uh, c2 is equal to v and multiplied by the probability that nv is e1 is equal to so probability of C2 is equal to V is equal to 0 0.80 multiplied by the NV is equal to 0 0.68. So 0. Point, sorry, 0. Point, 0. 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.68. So that is equal to 0 0.544. 0. 544 so let's call this our equation number 7 right and uh, let's now find out the intersection of the two events and the probability of the intersection so uh, event c2 is equal to v right c2 is equal to v and its intersection with event uh, nv is even is even right so uh, c2 is equal to v is this uh, event with these outcome dv vv and uh, uh, nv is even is this event right so we see that uh, the intersection is the outcome vv right outcome vv So the probability of the intersection is equal to the probability of this outcome. So probability that C2 is equal to V intersection with NV is E1 is equal to probability of the outcome VV and we found that this is equal to 0 0.64. So this is the e e equation number 8. So comparing 
7, equation 7 and equation 8, we see that these two equations are not equal, right? So probability that C2 is equal to V intersection with NV is E1 is not equal to the product of the individual probability. It's not equal to probability that C2 is equal to V multiplied by the probability NV is E1, right? So therefore, uh, event C2 is equal to V and event NV is E1 are not independent. So this concludes uh, solution to uh, the problem.